Only KPRC2 has a video of what happened before a traffic stop at a Bucky's parking lot that led to a Texas City police officer being pulled from the streets. The officer has been under investigation for more than two months now after controversy over that stop that happened in the Bucky's parking lot off the Gulf Freeway in Holland Road back in April. KPRC2's Bryce Newberry has the all new video that continues raising questions only on two tonight. The black car on your screen is driven by Christopher Scholl, shown on surveillance video passing in front of a police cruiser and pulling into the Texas City Buckies to fill up with gas. Hey man, you can't drive through the parking lot like that. That voice is four-year Texas City officer Scott Harrell, seen here writing Scholl a ticket for disregarding a traffic control device after he cut through empty spaces in the private parking lot. I feel How's like you're problem? going to continue to, to commit these behaviors that are unsafe and put people at risk. In the offense report obtained by KPRC2 News, Harold described Scholl as argumentative and confrontational, writing that he continued to argue the facts of the case. Instead of being like, oh yeah, I messed up, sorry, it won't happen again. You want to sit here and go back and forth? He wanted me to admit Every, whatever he said was right, and I'm, I wasn't going to do it because it didn't happen. According to the offense report, because Scholl would not cooperate, he was detained. Well, you were very close. They had to slam on their brakes. I watched it happen. Okay, you can't fly through the parking lot. But watch what this surveillance video shows. The white truck on the right of your screen braking. Then the brake lights go off before crossing paths with Shoal. Everything he said was a lie, and it really just boils down to he wanted to use his police powers to bash me over the head. Harrell wrote he planned to take him into custody for the offense, but another Texas City officer arrived during the 23-minute traffic stop with a citation book to write a ticket instead. Shoal retained civil rights attorney Brandon Grable, who says he never should have been detained. Uh, officer uh, appeared to have a poor lapse of judgment, and once he realized he was too far into the stop, he... Uh, felt like he had to go all the way. Now, more than two months after the Texas City Police Department launched an internal affairs investigation, Harrell remains on inside administrative duty. There's been no resolution or they're attempting to bury it. This guy is the kind of guy that you don't want running around smacking the public over the head for no reason. In light of that new video we just showed you, we asked the Texas City Police Chief as well as the mayor for a response, but so far tonight have not heard back. Scholl's attorney is now preparing a possible federal civil rights lawsuit for First and Fourth Amendment violations. And by the way, since all of this happened, Scholl has received notice from the court that that ticket got dismissed. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.